What's going on everyone, Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Subnautica. Now uh, we went over to the Aurora, we got that all squared away, we got a couple of uh, little additions and I remember last episode saying I wasn't sure if you can access these, the um, mods I got for the Seamoth and of course you can. I actually knew that, I don't know why I was questioning it. But uh, anyway, so I got my pressure compensator and my storage module in here. And uh, the storage module is nice because I can throw, you know, a couple of power cells in there, plus like a water, a food, you know, just to free up, free up some additional space of items that I'm always just going to have with me. Uh, I even debated on just putting a tank in there, a spare tank, in case I need one. You know, that's actually not a terrible idea. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it yet. Anyway, now, we are, as you see, we are capable of going down to 300 meters now. And a lot of the exploration in the game is just based off of uh, what depth you're able to reach. And we're actually able to start getting some of the really good stuff now. However, we got just a ton of uh, wrecks in areas that are more in like that 150 to 200 meter range that uh, have still yet to be explored. And this episode I want to take a look at one of those and I'm gonna head on over to the Kush zone I wonder if it's gonna be what I expected now let's see I'm actually not positive where this is I didn't go here in my last playthrough I believe it is actually over towards the mountain islands I actually saw it earlier in the playthrough I just don't remember where I was so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat it up here and use the wiki and the coordinates and get on over to the Kush. The Kush. Oh yeah. I got a feeling it's not going to be of the Hindu variety, but we'll still be fun nonetheless. Now let's see. I actually need to go what quite a ways still. Let's see. Where exactly is it? Now, now I'm actually going the wrong direction. I think it's actually going to be up past, man, it's definitely going into dangerous territory, because I'm going right up past all the alien badness and, uh, you know, the little, the big enchilada playground, as we know they hang out right in the front, in the front of the Aurora, and that's actually kind of the direction it looks like I'm headed. Now, let's see, now I've actually passed my Z coordinate by a long shot now and I'm still I'm trying to get into the into the 940 ish area for that first that first number there so it's actually way over here let's see I need to start going back down on my uh, my Z is it gonna be right in front Oh man, I think it is. It's gonna be right in front of the Aurora, huh? Ooh, shit. It's gonna be sketchy. That's alright. Sketchiness is what it's all about. I'm just hoping that uh, it doesn't end in any severe unpleasantries. Now, I'm actually really low on energy. It's damn near right underneath me right here. <clears throat> I'm really low on energy, and uh, I'm debating on swapping this power cell out right now before I go down. See, there's a big old sea cow. Oh, there's the wreck right there. Is that the cushion wreck? God, it really looks like it is. Oh, oh it definitely is. So we're here. Now this, like I said, this is, uh, this is like prime territory, I think, for a Reaper to show up. Ooh, what was that? Something coming and taking nipples at me, that's for damn sure. Now I do, I, my energy is at 10%. I need to be careful of that. And I'm also going to want to make sure I explore around a little outside 
of the wreck. So let's go ahead and get that started first and hope that this doesn't end in uh, absolute terror. I'm still, I'm still just really nervous. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What do we got here? That's one of those light sticks I've already got. What really one of the things? Ooh, there's a big old nasty. One of the things I'm really looking for here is there has the chance in this, just in this general area, of um, of having water purification. I've got lots of those little sharky guys. Oh, he's just attacking the sea moth. Wow. He's not messing around, attacking a sea moth, and I'm not even in it. Any anyway, right? Anyway, let's look around. I'm gonna stay in the sea moth here. Oh man, another big drop. There's gonna be just there's gonna be something bad lurking somewhere. I just know it. And I'm just gonna kind of oh another volcano. I'm gonna kind of explore around a little on the outside of this. There's that light stick. Ugh. Man, you just never know when you're going to get rushed by some badness around here. This actually isn't even very deep. I mean, as you see, I'm only at 200 meters. But it's still, this is the this is the deepest wreck that I have uh, come to by far. And we see there is actually an inn, but I kind of want to look around outside of it a little bit more and see if I see anything that stands out at me. Now like I said there's a there's a chance in this zone of having the uh, of having uh, the water water purification fragments uh, laying down here for me to use. Scurry, scurry. Where's my energy at now? I'm down to 8%. I definitely want to keep an eye on it. Like I said, I'm not, um... I'm really not seeing a whole lot outside. Ooh. Smashing shit up. Let's, uh, let's head on in. So I'm going to go ahead and position Seamoth up nice and close to that uh, entrance there. And hope that actually gives me a little bit of shelter when I hop in and out. And you know what? A little light in there is not going to hurt my feelings either. So let's uh, let's check it out here and see what we got. And there's another uh, floodlight. Here we got a little sketchy, sketchy passageway with bubbles. I should have made another tank. I just should have done it. Oof. Man, this is an awfully long corridor. I'm already at half on the uh, on the oxygen too. I'm gonna check out some other areas before I go into there too far. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I needs the oxygen. All right. Now, once you learn the path, of course, it becomes a little easier. I just saw something to scan. Oh, there it is. Another plant pot. Plant pot three. I'm not really sure what the difference is in those, to be honest. All right. So there was another entrance in right there, and it looks like my only choice is to go down that sketchy ass hallway. No signal. I'm not seeing anything else up in here. Let me get another breath. This is going to be a lot of in and out. Like I said, I really, really should have uh, should have just went on and made another tank. But I didn't, and I'm here, so I'm going to have to deal with it. Yeah, I'm just not... Uh, not seen anything else so all right let's let's head in I should have just went and grabbed uh, another breath real quick let me double check in here no nope, nothing in there 
Now I'm, I'm turning into a little pussy here. I'm going back for air and I still got more than 30 seconds left. I can't be having that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's go for it. God, oh god, tanks. Now, was that open rumble? Yeah, it was. Okay. So there is another door I can get in here. And let's see. That's actually getting out through the bottom. There's a modification station fragment. Which, uh, you know, obviously going to be needing some of that love. And there is a door to cut through. Hmm, did I bring my cutter with me? I'm sure I did. Where you at, laser cutter? Right there. I'll get a couple of... Well, I'm actually really, really close again. Oxygen. Oh, so close. It's going dark. All right. <laughs> Let's get on through here. Let's see where it was that right here. And then we had a little cutting to do still. Hopefully I can get through this in one pass. It looks like I probably will. I might have to go up and get more air before I head back in. I really should have just made another tank. Now of course with that modification station I can make some better tanks. And that's gonna that's gonna make these trips uh, much much nicer. And we definitely got stuff in there, but we also have no time. So, and I got disoriented. Uh oh. Man, I'm cutting it way too close here without having that extra tank. Come on. Oh. Jesus. I'm cutting it way way too close. There's no doubt about it. Let's go see what the hell was in that room. See, we came through here, and we cut through there. What do we got? What do we got? Anything good? There's a PDA. The light stick. Ah, I already got the light stick. I want something new. There's another modification station fragment. So that alone, I mean, is huge. Let me go take one more breath, and then I will blast back in through here. And let's see, where the hell was it? Oh, I'm screwed, aren't I? Oh yeah, I'm going dark. I'm going dark! Oh no! Oh no! Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh. Oh man, I'm going to have to sea glide it. All the way back over there. Ugh. All right, well, I guess I better make sure I'm good on batteries here. <laughs> As this is going to be a long journey back. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make another tank while I'm here, too. Oops, that was the wrong one. I wanted to put the lower one of them all in there. There it is. While I'm here, I'm going to make another tank, and then I will head right back over and recover my lost goods and explore the rest of that wreck. Failure! Alright, so here we go. Alright, so here we go, and I think... Oop, zero energy. Now, I think I am actually at... Uh, what the hell? That's, well, okay. It put me through the wall. How strange. Anyway, I think, um, that is probably it for this wreck. Let me swap this bad boy out. But I do want to explore around in, uh, in the, the old Kush zone here just a little bit more and check things out. And, uh, Although it's not helping out a ton, I do have some daylight, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's cruise around and see see if there's anything else cool. Now, I'm wondering, is that the same as my one I already have? Yeah, it looks like it is. See, there's that damn light stick again. Nothing here. 
Man, these baddies, I tell you. There is some sketchy looking shit running around down here. Anyway, let's just go ahead and continue to cruise the area. I've already looked at all that all that debris and whatnot. But let's see if there's anything cool laying around. And I believe this is still all part of the Kush Zone. Well, actually, it will tell me. Yeah, okay, so this is still uh, still part of the Kush Zone here. And it actually looks fairly fairly spread out. It's a, it's a bigger area than I thought it was. Ooh. Volcanoes! Anything else cool? Come on, there's got to be something else down here. Or am I just circling the exact same spot over and over again? Now I think, are all of those... Is that basalt? Shale outcrop. Alright. Not sure uh, if I really need to go and bother with all the shale outcrops, but certainly never going to hurt if I have one staring at me there. And let's see, anything else? The um, the forums actually have some people, some posts from people saying that uh, ew, another one of those menacing little fuckers. Anyway, there's some posts from some people saying that they have found uh, the water purifier just kind of chillaxing down here out in the middle of nowhere so I, I just want to take a quick cruise through the Kush I'm gonna watch my health as uh, I'm just basically ignoring all these baddies that are taking shots at me there's quite a few of them too man I would hate to have to come down here for lithium doesn't make sense considering you can uh, just cruise on over to the island and pick it up like mad. But I guess uh, if that's not available, it's like there's a shitload of salt here too. Okay, am I still in the cush? Ooh, ooh, zappy fish. What? Look at that crazy thing. That is one of the newer additions uh, to the game, I believe. Hmm. Some ele some big elevation changes, but I'm wondering if that down there... I don't think that down there is still part of the Kush. So just kind of keep keep cruising the, cruising the Hindus here and see what we come up with, if anything at all. Now that's... That looks like a big chunk of gold, maybe, that you need the prawn suit to mine up. Ooh, zappy fish. Zappy fish, zappy fish. You know, now of course I could come right around the corner and see something cool, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna run into uh, much else scannable here, here in the c the Cush zone. Well, this is actually Cush down here too, huh? There's another zappy fish. Crazy, crazy zappy fish. And I think right, I don't know, these kind of, these caves down here kind of look, uh, oh wow, man. I gotta watch my depth. I, I'm not paying attention. And I keep cruising deeper and deeper. So, uh, you know, obviously I don't want to cause any, uh, any undue damage to the sea moth. I already, uh, abused the shit out of it, so... <laughs> I'd hate to see uh, any other any other badness come its way. It's a really cool looking zone, though. I mean, lots of color. Man, that zappy fish is just what up? Are you following me or something? All right, he's going the other way now. Still no. Uh, luckily, not one single run in with the big enchilada yet, and. Uh, I've actually been pretty grateful in that department. Am I still... This is still Kush, right? Yep, still Kush. 
you hit F1 there, just like looking at those coordinates, and it does tell you exactly what zone you're in. Now, of course, when I go back and edit this video... Let's see, I didn't bring any food, did I? Let me go ahead and eat that nutrient block. When I edit, when I edit this video, I will see all of the stuff I missed. <laughs> As there will, you know, without question, be be lots and lots of stuff, but whatever. Anyway, we're back over to that little volcano area. We just start heading back towards uh, back towards the crib until uh, until I get out of the Kush zone, and then I'll just abandon it for now. I mean, I may have to come back and search for that uh, water for purification fragments at some point. There's many many possible spawn points for it, but. Uh, you know, obviously, I was really hoping I would just run into it here. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. See, and that is definitely going out of the cush. Uh, more zappy fish. They're just everywhere. Now there, we're transferring over into uh, the mushroom forest. Hmm. I'm just waiting. I know that bastard, that big bastard's gonna pop on me at some point and scare the shit out of me. But yeah, anyway, it looks like that is it. Now I did get the uh, the modification station, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I'm I'm pretty stoked to have it. So uh, let me look and actually see what that takes to build here. Let's see. Where are you at? Modification station. Where are you? I know I just unlocked it. Current generator. Artificial gravity. Hmm. A lot of the stuff I've never played with. The air pumps. Uh, stuff like that. Rebreather. Yeah, it's time for a rebreather. Definitely time for a rebreather. As uh, now I should be able to get rid of, uh, see that's the bioreactor, I should be able to get rid of this radiation suit. Let's see, where the hell is it? Oh, it looks like I've got the vehicle, oh of course I need the moon pool for that. Where is the regular? Oh, there it is. Okay, wiring kit, computer chip, and titanium. So yeah, that that is definitely within reach. Ooh, what did I just see? All right, that's just a stalker. Yeah, I'm come up into the kelp forest now. I was not paying attention. Didn't really uh, realize exactly where I was. Well, anyway, that is going to do it for now. Next episode, we'll get that modification station going and uh, see what kind of awesomeness we can get. So uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, click that like button and please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. And check back soon as there will definitely be some more Subnautica. Having just a lot of fun with it. We'll see ya.